Excellente! Welcome back to Lone Knight Gaming. We are going to kill the boss of Area 1 now. It shouldn't be an entire episode, like I may be able to squeeze another level in. So let's see how long it takes to beat Dino King. I can show you all the way to beat Dino Mighty. ways to fight this boss, just to let you know, it's all really cool. I'm just see, I can punch the stomach. Oh, whoops. She does, one thing I can do is she can do that, and then I do that, and then I can punch the stomach some more. Let's see if I can get all the ways to hurt her this time. So you can hit her in the stomach, and that does some damage. Grab her. One way. And slam her into the ground. Or you can do that stuff. Or you can just pick up one of these columns. And then hold on to the column. Wait for the jump. Jump yourself. And then do the spinny spins. And that hurts her foot. And then she looks down and realizes she just fell in lava. And that gives you some sick coins. That gives you a lot of coins. If you care about that stuff, you can also grab on to this thing if I can get it right. Yes! And then she'll be like, where'd you go? And then, behold! That gives you a ton of coins too. And then you can just spin spin. Wait till you become blue for it to count, and then it's boss. But let's just keep doing the call. Up, oh, and then she gets multiple ones. And that's still counting, apparently. So we're not we're gonna finish her off with a call. We're just gonna do super throw her. That is how you defeat Dino Mighty in three minutes. Too, which is Jesterland, pretty much. And then this is what the speedrunners will do, probably. I don't know, I haven't really seen a speedrun in this game, I'd love to, but... So yeah, if you've seen a really good speedrun in this game, put it in the comments, I'll watch it. And that's the to-do list to be like, yo, did I 100% this level? And then if you don't look at the prize menu, so yeah. Anyways, welcome to Spooky Scary Skeleton Land. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of been holding on to that joke, I'm sorry. Oh, um, well, I can't see that name again. Oh, okay. Big bone. Huh. You know, there's a joke for that, but I don't wanna. 
Oh, it's just Master Hand if he was limited to walls. And it's just like Banjo-Kazooie, you slam on the hand. I actually might finish my Banjo-Kazooie playthrough, I just gotta figure out where I left off. Okay, maybe these do appear in order, because I do believe red is first, always, so... Oh, and you get these creepy things, which I forgot about. Those are pretty creepy. Is there an area up here? Yeah, there's an area up here. I, I lo I'm glad I was right about that. I think I can just... Oh, I should be able to just get that to get up there, but I guess not. And of course, this is where the puzzles start getting a little harder, like to gotta learn the attack. Oh, let's not jump into the pit. I don't want to deal with those things again. There's rhinoceros ghosts. I don't know what they are, but I don't want to deal with them. See you, skeletons. Oh, come on. Note to self, grab a calm to speed on that section. And these guys can block now, so you gotta use your butt. You gotta hold that, and then toss it. And then punch that guy, grab him. Maybe this is gonna be slam. Oh, well, apparently you can use him as a shield during the spinny slam. I did not know that. Oh, he's just stuck out there. I didn't know that was possible. You grab a big crystal gem, and then you just do this, because there's a thing here. And if I've done this right, the hand should move up. Yes, I did it right. No, 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 oh no. Oh gosh darn it. I will admit this game has flaws. Like, I should have gotten that. I think we can all agree that that should have been gotten. What's that one? Oh, there's that. We gotta hit this one. Jump on that one. We got one. I jump on this one. There we go. Oh, I missed the spring. Oh well. I do like all the enemies will have kind of similar designs though. Just to let you know, like. uh... Oh no 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 no. I'm glad that didn't hurt. Oh. Like, uh, you'll always see, like, the enemy designs and, like, be familiar. So, like, the, uh, first... So, like, the little guys have the similar, have similar designs, and the big guys have similar designs. But sometimes areas introduce new enemies, like, uh, they can do, for instance. And these are obviously the Skeledrakes we fought later. I mean, it's skeleton pterodactyls or whatever. So you don't really get unique shapes until, um, really soon actually. But yeah, I gotta get up there. I think, I think it can speed on itself. So. Oh yeah, right, this is a unique enemy. Um, the shark. But yeah, sometimes some levels will have unique enemies. And we'll just see that. Of course I suck at it, but yeah, I can. Maybe if I press on it. Yeah, I'm not good. Never mind. I'll just go, go around if I really wanted it. Of course, a speedrun strat might be to jump backwards on it, but... Oops. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the speedrun strat, because you don't have to worry about the stupid spikes, you just jump backwards. And since it's a treasure chest in the middle, you know that there isn't a, uh, a statue piece, so... Just go up here, go around, fire. Sometimes they're just bombs. There's no very disrespectful what he does. You could argue it's disrespectful that I'm kind of using the dead to, uh... Alright. make my way to treasure, so... That was the luckiest... That actually was pretty much the luckiest land I could have done. Well, that's not lucky. <laughs> I feel like the luckiest land. I mess up the easiest part of this. That's funny. So let's keep going. But yeah, I'm obviously in a much better mood now. Dark Souls 2 put me in a really bad state, but this is making me feel so much better. It's just funny. I was gonna do like a Dark Souls 2 playthrough all the way, but like. Honestly, that made me super stressed, and I'm not liking how the game audio is louder than me right now. Just gonna turn that down real quick. There we are. Maybe that's better? Hopefully you guys can hear my voice. I'll just dub over my lines, hopefully. You know what, I miss crushing it. There we go. Wait, is it worth going that way? No, it's not. What's this way? And that's not how I get that. Is that actually how I get that? Okay. No, I think I gotta go up more. Oh god, I hope the audio was really good on this one. I'm kinda nervous now because I realized this game audio was really overpowering my voice, so I was like, uh, please don't let that be the case. Oh, and it's the W, but we gotta fight this thing. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to punch you out. Come back. Can you not go back inside the bubble? Oh, cool, you can. Ooh, I do not like that. And you punch lightning face in the face. And now it's heist time. We broke into this haunted mansion, and we're going to take this. Is there anything down here? No, but it does show us where a little thing is at least. Okay, let's auto spin this son of gun. Oh, that does not look right in this hallway. Oh, I do not like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. Please tell me it dies in three hits. And that's our first game over. Oh, okay, that's what coins do. Every 200 coins you get gives you a continue and you can just pick up where you last was died or something. So yeah. Sometimes it's just faster to die. Which is really depressing. Ow. Okay. No, I don't, I don't want to deal with this. Okay, there. That's how we deal with it. Okay, no, I'm just gonna throw him. Screw it, you know? Take it. Yep, that worked. Oh, that did nothing. And we made all our gold back. Because we're cool like that. Um, is there a secret here? I don't remember. Where's that blue box? 
Okay, I need you. Oh, there's that treasure chest. Again, sometimes some of these buttons and treasure chests end up in the weird spots, so you gotta be very careful. Or you gotta really start exploring sometime. Oh, that was dumb of me. Um... And that's how you crush it. And that's how you don't. Um, hmm. Give me a second. I think I can actually cut out a bit of this episode to make it work with the boss fight. Because I don't want to awkwardly leave on like an episode where like I finish half of a level because then I get through the other half or whatever. So yeah, let's just keep rolling with it for now. Get back here, you really floaty fish. I swear, these sharks are really floaty sometimes. Well, that's that's a skip, actually. Oh, but there's a button down there, I bet. Yeah, there's something down there at least. So you may so in a speed run where you're just doing normal playthrough, that's a skip, by the way. But in a playthrough where you're trying to 100% get everything, it's not a speed run. Because then you miss this. Whoops. That is farther away than it looks, just a warning. So you gotta wait for the corner. And then you can make your way across. Just corner to corner. Whoops. Hopefully I got it. Yeah, I think I got it. Yep, I got it. It would be glowing otherwise. Oh, where's that other pun? Oh. Well, there's the last crystal, at least. So here, how do I do this? Like that? Yes! Oh, this is a lot of jumping. Let me grab the thing. I don't know, I'm trying to think of another story I can tell just to make this not me just being quiet for an hour trying to focus. Um, well, there's the last button at least. Yeah, what's the story on this? Um, I don't know, I beat this game in a day. I guess that's a good story once like I just spend a whole day sitting down playing through it in Jack's home. That's just the story, really. Um, yeah. Hey, Jack. I'm in the middle of a session. You want to say hi to people? Hi. Okay. He's very tired. He works like from... Sort of like... It's like 2 in the morning. He works until like that. What else should I talk about? Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, um, I actually am blanking on things to talk about right now, just cause my brain is like fully focused on this and it's like 2am, so, uh, ooh. wait, that's not right, I should be able to get to the, There's a, there it is, you just can't see the bridge, it's fine. But yeah, basically, um, this is a very, very quiet episode. I'm not going to talk much until we get to the boss because I'm a little out of it right now. This is the last recording thing I'm doing tonight. I wish I did this instead of Dark Souls 2. Oh, I would... Okay, um, am I the only one that's... Okay, whoa. What happened with the circle there? Oh no, Brawl Doll. I forgot how terrifying this thing is. Ouch. Oh, I gotta do Brawl Doll with one heart. Awesome. Wait, what's up here? 
I guess the last, is that the last treasure? No, I got all the spritelings. I got all the tre- what is up here? Oh. Cool, what a waste. Nope, I don't want that. That takes me back to the beginning of the level. I do not want to get on that, because I have everything. I can just beat the game right here, there. Boom, dunsies. I'm gonna do a lot of cutting out of the silent parts. And this is the scariest enemy I've ever seen. I... Uh, uh, no. No. No, kill it with fire. That's what I say, kill it with fire. Kill it with fire! Kill a fire. Uh, not okay with this. Okay, cool. These things regenerate. I don't want to fight this thing in the dark. Oh, now he's gonna do his little jab. No. Oh. <laughs> ah. Okay. I actually did not know he did this. I did not know that was an attack. I don't know why. I completely forgot about it. But it's dead. It's done with. We don't have to look at its face anymore. We can pray to God that it's all over and I have one heart left. Oh. Well, next time on Lone Night Gaming, uh, I'm just gonna grab this sound bike real quick.